Glaucoma is a disease that requires long-term follow-up and monitoring. So family members can help by assisting the patient in coming for follow-up visits and treatment. I think glaucoma patients also need a lot of uh, psychological, you know, emotional support because it's a lifelong disease that generally cannot be cured. Um, therefore, you know, it's a familial support is very important. Uh, coming for visits is important because um, the doctor needs to monitor if the disease is sufficiently controlled so that there's no rapid progression of the optic nerve head damage. In glaucoma treatment, what we can do is actually to preserve whatever vision that's left or whatever optic nerve head fibres are left, but we cannot um, reverse uh, whatever is lost. Um, for example, in this visual field, okay, the vision that is lost here will become permanent and in treating the patient, we are actually trying to preserve whatever vision that is left. So early diagnosis is very important as well as the continuity of treatment to prevent further vision loss. In general, glaucoma cannot be prevented, especially the primary form, since we do not know the etiology. However, it can be detected and blindness prevented by treatment. Uh, so, while it cannot be prevented, it's probably advisable for patients who are at risk, especially the elderly, those with a positive family history of glaucoma, those with pre-existing eye diseases such as myopia, or previous injury to the eye, or previous intraocular surgery, to have um, surveillance and follow-up for detection of glaucoma. Also, patients taking medications such as steroid should have monitoring, especially those on topical uh, steroid eye drops. Increased intraocular pressure is a risk factor for glaucoma, but it's not a prerequisite for diagnosis of glaucoma. Uh, whether you have glaucoma or not will depend on whether you have any optic nerve head disease or damage. Okay, some people can have high pressures throughout their lifetime but they never develop glaucoma. But some people can have very normal or even low pressures that can go blind from glaucoma. Hence, uh, intraocular pressures alone is not a diagnostic of glaucoma. However, because it's a risk factor, the higher the pressure, the more likely the patient can develop glaucoma. So in patients with very high pressure, sometimes even if they do not have glaucoma as yet, based on the other parts of the ocular examination, we may still treat them to reduce the risk of them developing glaucoma in future. Okay, it's analogous to having high blood pressure. The higher the blood pressure, the more likely you are to get problems such as, for example, stroke or heart failure.